just about as decorated a kickboxer as has come into this division in some time, DC. And if we get a kickboxing match tonight, he ain't losing. He is a championship-level kickboxer, a guy that can stand in the pocket and trade and kick and punch with anyone. He's constantly throwing things from as close as you can get. He's comfortable throwing leg kicks. He will drive these into your body. But it's the aggressiveness and the ability and willingness to stand in the pocket and trade that makes him truly, truly special. I think that is what separates kickboxing, the high level yeah. level from everyone else. He understands distance as well as any striker in this division. Of course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. Him. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, Ensemble. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 28 wins, 19 losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Jeremy Little Heather Stevens. And now with his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. Make his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Warsaw, Poland, Assassin. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean draws the assignment here. Ready. Left hand and lands flush. Swing and a big miss by Stevens. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class hands up, chin down. Lands flush with that right hand. Stevens just out of range with that left hand. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that is a good attempt as he gets the fight back to the middle. It's ideal. His ideal situation just happened. He got it on the shot, didn't have to put too much effort to finish. Great job. It's the elbow there. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Stevens. Oh, elbows landing in bunches. Now you gotta cover up. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Man, is he timing his shot well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate in the past. I mean, he is so sharp. And not only is he accurate, he's also keeping very busy. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finish the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but yes. now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. 
Well, just exhausting watching some of these takedown attempts. He's not able to get it there. And he's attempting it over and over again. How long before he gets discouraged and accepts that this is going to be a stand-up fight? He can't even, he can barely stand. Take it down, cover, take it down, cover. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Close guard. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Look at the pull behind that leg. Big power shot there. Big kick. All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you've spoken a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a lost art in modern day mixed martial arts. Certainly not for this one. No, and he does it the old school way, right? Yeah. Now, nowadays, you can do it. A lot of top pressure being applied here. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up and see what he can do. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Now he's on top of him looking for the finish. Outstanding ground. That's it. Humpteen steps in. He got him. What a performance. You knew if he landed that weapon repeatedly, it could be a short night for his opponent. But that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. The official decision is in. We said it inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop to this contest. At one minute, nine seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check them, but he can't, John, because there's no wind-up. Yeah. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponent is getting a beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab off. Get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding. He has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Both fighters get up now. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Elbow tight, big check in it, landed it right on the chin. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. Unable to land with that punch. A nice uppercut. John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown attempt without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Right hand punch. Double leg. Lead against the takedown there. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh man, I'm starting to feel bad for the canvas. 
this as he lands another takedown there. He landed another takedown, and he's doing it over and over again. What I am a massive fan of is his cardio, the ability to be able to keep this pace over and over as he hits these takedowns. The octagon, not a great place to be when you're looking for a rest or a stool. This statement has been a huge issue to him. It's abandoned him, but he did all times another takedown. Nice shot there by me. He's doing a really good job of getting on that high cross and just following the action. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. That's very important. Oh! He's out! Oh! <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way, and in order to get a fight of the night like he got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has going to stop with this contest. At four minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Golden! Oh, not. Great. two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Just misses with the straight right. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Punches blocked. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just over three minutes to go. Right up the elbow. Good stick. Collar tie. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Enough of right hand. We're going at it now. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Johnson's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Green gets hit by that kick to the body. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Right hand punch from the clinch. Oh, misses with the jet. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, nice punch there by Green. Head off the center line, slips the punch. All right, single collar time now. And they separate. So 
there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned. A huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, you ready to fight? Ready. Good. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he goes with punches. Oh. All right, so a good job defensively by him. Oh, huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. He blocks the punch. All right, so another swing and a miss. And I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out to space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the octagon, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that when you have that next explosion, it actually has to be. Straight punch lands, that's as good punch as he's Right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here today. Right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. Both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, the official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout, Bobby King Reed. other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. Do you think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper. It's also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one. And there's Archer. There's a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Tuivasa gets up. He is back on the feet here. Big body kick. Nice punch there. Oh! Huge right hand! He's in trouble. He's first man. Now he's on top of him with the good finish. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught. He wanted to make sure he kept the judges out of the equation. Mission accomplished on that front as he gets the TKO victory here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Now 
Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 22 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout time! Bam, bam! Two, fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside of the octagon. I'm so excited to watch the highest level of MMA on display tonight. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Well, you saw the... Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right! Just a slip there. He's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Nice kick. Oh, nice elbow. Trying to establish that jab once again. A oh, little single collar tie there. Nice leg kick land. Back to the jab now, no good. Beautiful strike. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. DC, he is officially rough. A big, massive hook that really has put his opponent on skates. He's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Nice loop and punch. Got clip with the right hand. Nice leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Over and over, he's landing a big body kick. Oh, big elbow. Goes to the body there. Wow! Oh! Round two coming up next. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. That last round's over. He took his best shots and smiled back. Now it's your turn. You have to go. You ready to fight? Ready. ready. Round two underway. Great punch. Again, the winner here was so aggressive with his onslaught that ultimately appeared as though the outcome was an eventuality. So if you're the referee, you got to protect the fighter. And I thought he did a good job of doing just that. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game.
a full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling, he used his elbows, he used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 19 seconds of round number two. Going to win by knockout Batman. You ready? You ready? Watch the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick em fight according to Las Vegas, and really hard to think of a win. These are bad. Mixed it all up. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hands. Really making good use of this reach advantage there with that punch. Whoops. Well, he works it. Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go change that finish. Oh, down. straight right. A couple of chins here being tested early. Side control now. Back to the feet. And they separate. Switching stances here. Oh, what a punch. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here. Oh, he didn't like that left hand. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can route. Oh, pinpoint jab to him. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Back. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. A near perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So, just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the octagon tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 45 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Anthony Rumble Johnson! You ready? Each other's radars for quite some time tonight. It shall be done. Both guys well rounded. You think we're getting the kickboxing match underway? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Straight punch lands. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh, straight right. Oh, big left hook there. Beautiful hit. Oh, and he gets tagged. Nice combination there, and might not be a bad idea for the opposition to just tweak that head off the yeah. center. He was landing one before. Now he's throwing everything in combination, and they're all landing. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Well, this striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him today. It's worked out for now. He's fighting, and he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, nice. 
Now, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Knock you out. This fight's gonna be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the court. He mixed it up. He went high and low. And now he's got him hurt very bad. Knee to the body. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Gotta start raising that guard or this is gonna be the end of the fight. I mean, it's gonna be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Able to check the high kick. Looks like his leg is even seen limping a little bit. How good is that right hand? Oh, he's got it going now. Nice. Whoa! Whoa! See? You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh! Gets to the target so fast, he always brings his hands right back to his face. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. What are you doing out there? You have to defend yourself. You can't take shots like that. The judges are going to score it against you. Are you ready? You ready? Looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! And now he lands a combination. All right, dominant position for him here. That'll do it. That is it. Oh, wow! That was nasty. What a performance! Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight. It's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop this contest at 28 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout. Cut. is pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, 
outside control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get-ups. Oh, big knee. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Back and forth we go. Pettis going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. Well, that one. Oh, he's still attached to his body. The last time I saw an alpha cut like that, it was over him versus the Donnie. And you know he still have a problem out of the I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he Do you believe it? Oh, and there comes the stoppage. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel. And that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. We now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 34 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Grandmaster. See, we got a new UFC lightweight champion. This is a belt that doesn't always change hands very... two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Not only will this affect his ability to stand, but he can't really set down on his punches and he won't generate the power that he normally generates because he can't really get heavy on his leg. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Well-placed kick there by Brunson. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that. Oh, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. And everything's landing with so much power. So just over 20 total strikes and counting have already found the mark for Joel Romero. Visibly limping here. Time his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Ooh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. And a knee. Oh! Just missed on that spinning attack. Punch there by Romero. Oh, lands a massive left hand. Oh, straight right. Well placed with the kick. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. He's already landed this round, and the damage is really. 
really starting to take its toll. Yeah, it's really starting to take its toll. And you watch the opponent walking gingerly on his leg. And one big tell that you're starting to really do well with your leg kicks is when your opponent starts to switch stances. Right. Watch for a stance switch very soon. All right, so again, the fighters clinch here. Kind of had an inkling we'd find ourselves back in this situation. Absolutely. Both of these fighters love fighting chest to chest. The uglier fighters are going to fight. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot made it perfect. Oh, big left. What a fight so far. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. So that one snuck in. It's nice, right? He plans the right hand. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on beat streak. He hurts so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. So 58 total strikes. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go take that finish down now. Back to the feet. He's throwing every part of himself. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, straight right. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute 57 seconds of round number two. Playing the winner by knockout and new USC middleweight champion of the world. So how about this, DC? We have a new UFC middleweight champion. You ready? Are you ready? Let's go, guys. Fight. So here we go, round one. I can barely hear myself thinking this arena right now. Two of the most dominant well-rounded fighters in this division. I mean, these guys are the best of all of mixed martial arts. They can do everything when they're locked inside a big oh! This could come here at any time. Overeem shot is blocked. Just misses with a left hook there. Big punch lands. Ooh. Powerful leg kick land. Nice combination of kicks there by Overeem. Yes. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, 
Oh, you can hear the whack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to register. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg. Nicely done there as he forces the miss from his opponent. Let's go! Get him off you! Get him off! Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground zone. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. That's a good strike right there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Try to establish that jab. Oh, no. He needs to start looking to finish. Because that is a point very bad. Oh, nice right hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. He comes forward with a flying knee that... Oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. He got a bang! All right, so there's the end of the round as we show you some of the highlights, DC. And there was a big knockdown there. Thought he might get the finish. We'll see if he gets it in the next round. Well, if he lands that shot again, if he lands that shot again, it will be over. It will be a finish. You don't recover from two of those types of strikes. He found the right moment. He found the opening and landed that big strike. Nice. That was perfect. Good round. He's rocked. He's still rocked, all right? He's ready to be finished in this next round, all right? We're going to finish him off here. He's ready to go. Okay, now keep ready. All right, let's get to round two. Good job. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. Take that finish down. Oh! 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 Very efficient and effective with the ground and pound strikes here. High level one. shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly. So, near perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moments, you gotta show up, and that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliata calls a stop to this contest at 34 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. Still the baddest man on the planet. I know you haven't retired yet, but uh, I don't necessarily want to see you share the octagon with that monster. I mean, this dude is a savage. There is prestige in being called the UFC heavyweight champion. He remains that.